Kata Kamara, a native of Janjambure, told the Truth Commission on Monday that she was forced to abandon her one-year-old child after she was arrested by agents of National Intelligence Agency ahead of the 2001 elections. Tata was a strong supporter of People's Progressive Party, who later joined the United Democratic Party after the party was formed in 1996. She said after attempts by APRC party to persuade her to join their party failed, the party resorted to using NIA agents to intimidate her. In July 2001, Tata was arrested and taken to Major Bojang, the then commissioner of Janjambure at the time by one police inspector Kulubaji. Tata was at the time breastfeeding our one-year, one-month-old child. They took my child from me and put him on the floor at the police station and took me away, said Kamara, crying. Al Hassan Sisi has more on that. Testifying today at the TRRC, the 61st witness, Madam Kamara Sisi, UDP chairperson and women mobilizer for CRR, delved into her ordeal with the former regime of Yaya Jame. She was a PPP controller and later joined the UDP at its inception in 1996. She highlighted because of her influence in the Janjambure area, she was taken for a threat to the strength of APRC in that area. Prior to 2001 presidential election, while at her rice field, she was summoned to answer to Janjambure police station. Where the commissioner at the time, Major Bojan, complained he had never seen her follow Yaya Jame whenever he comes there. She was released and later arrested again with her one-year, one-month-old baby. She added she was proceeded to the NIA headquarters in Banjul, where she was locked in a tiny room with only a chair and limited access to the restroom. Nde ma rolo bari kan fa e ka fo baba baba na ta fa ko ne nyin de nyoje no la bi fo sama talan talan saba watu la fataraje watu min sama lo nabe nyoje la when the when we arrived uh, the one who took me in signed and so they handed me over to someone i had uh, him being called uh, baba but baba said that uh, he could not see me uh, immediately and that I should wait until the following day around about the same time that i have arrived today that is 3 pm Did you know who who Baba was? Akufuya lo ne jumale mu Baba ti ba. Malo, bari ngame wole mu ileke ba ti ngame wole Baba. Nte malo ne ngame reka fo Baba. Mato lo ngame reka fo Baba. She further said, in her sixth day in detention, she felt sick and was taken to a military clinic. There, she said she was about to be injected with an injection meant for donkeys and strange darkies tablets, which she declined to take out of fear for her life. But ande ka don sunjul be fatal nil be kontinta po be roke. It, it disturbed me a lot because uh, my uh, breasts were filled uh, until they were almost uh, uh, stony. I was not breastfeeding. So when it's time for me to breastfeed, I used to, um, they, my, my breast used to spill milk. Uh, even if I tried to hold, uh, you know, it, 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 it never stopped. We can take a five-minute break if necessary. Would you like to have a short break, Madam Kamarasise? Madam Kamarasise, if you have a short break, you can take a short break. Let me just uh, complete the statement I was making. Please continue. You were telling us about the impact that um, not being able to breastfeed your child had um, on you. Continue ya fanya wa remedying susundi no we but I mean sabu ima continue ya odia moto futa. Nata phone on be phone on a day yembule na mbe phone kam be phone kam be phone kam nata bunda ama kama nuko no impatani. So I was there vomiting. I was vomiting. I was vomiting a lot. So I, I came and I knocked on the door almost three times and I said to them, I'm, I'm dying. That was when they came and opened up the door. I was shaking and I was, I was vomiting. I was shivering and vomiting. She said the NIA boss at the time whom she believed was Baba told her the reason for her arrest was because she insulted President Jame. She said the NIA boss at the time, whom she believed was Baba, told her the reason for her arrest was because she insulted Yaya Jame, and they have the recordings of that. 
C4 said the NIA boss confessed that they in fact did not have any recordings, rather they arrested her to intimidate her to cross carpet from UDP to APRC. He came and I saw him remove a syringe. That, that syringe, what I, what, I know, I used, what I know it for was to inject donkeys. It's a big, big syringe. He said to me, raise up your, your dress, let me inject you, uh, because you are infested with, ma uh, infected with malaria. I said to him, you, you, you want to inject me with this syringe? He said to me, I am, I am I'm conscious, and I know that it's donkeys that they use this syringe to inject them with, and I am not a donkey, I'm a human being, and I'm not going to be injected with this syringe. Madam Kamara Sise heavy-heartedly expressed how her son was dismissed from his job with the Ministry of Agriculture due to her affiliation to the UDP and how APRC militants under the leadership of one NIA officer Kulu Mambure invaded her compound to vandalize her properties during their jubilation after the 2001 presidential elections. Reporting for iAfrica TV News, I am Alhassan Sise.